War studies is a multidisciplinary approach to the study of what is still the biggest problem that the world faces today. And it starts with the premise that the only way to deal with problems is to understand them. And rather than turning our back on the problem, we need to engage with it. We need to study how wars come about, how people wage them, what they're used for, the connection between war and other forms of political activity from uh, radical protests right the way through to, to democratic consent politics. The most uh, interesting thing about being a war studies is that um, you can read the newspaper every day and see something that's interesting for your course and you can also discuss it with uh, your fellow students and your professors and get really uh, interesting views on these uh, topics. The MA War Studies program is the department's original postgraduate program of study. It offers students a unique opportunity to develop a well-rounded understanding of war that's informed by a variety of academic disciplines. Well, I thought it would be a good opportunity to learn more about conflict as such, about all the, from a multidisciplinary angle, to really learn how conflict plays out, what causes for conflict are. I served as a U.S. Marine um, in Iraq in 2004, 2005 and 2006, and I came out of that experience with a desire to learn all I could about um, war, why it's fought, why it's so hard to stop. Given that it's masters just for a year, you would obviously delve into it quite quickly, get to know the people very quickly. You would have to engage in a lot of discussions right from the start, which is what I really like. There aren't any programs like this in the U.S. Um, I don't think really anywhere else in the world. It's quite a unique program here at King's. You know, war studies is a very unique construction. The way we do war studies here is original. It was invented here. And it is this blend of history, strategy, contemporary affairs, politics, law. It's, it's a very rich mixture. My favorite thing about studying in London is that it's a place where a lot of really interesting people come. So, for example, at the school we have a lot of events where you can attend and see speakers from whether it's the UN or uh, they work in the government. Uh, after King's, I am going back home to Norway and hopefully I can work within uh, either the government or an NGO, uh, which will be really interesting. For me, the core of a war study student is somebody who's not hidebound and constrained in the way they think, that they have an interest in problems, they want to solve problems, they want to address issues. They're not bound up in one particular disciplinary model. They don't see the answer to the world coming out of a history program. They see it coming out of an approach. I was blown away by the diversity of um, the people studying war studies. I was probably one, I, some people were younger than me, some people were older. We had um, retired um, people who had had successful careers studying the history of warfare. We had students fresh out of undergraduate studies um, looking to go into internships and work for the UN. It was an eclectic mix and an extremely stimulating environment, very intellectually challenging because the academic standard was extremely high. There is no standard war studies outcome. We don't, we don't produce war studies, we produce p original creative people who've come and experienced the opportunities of working with many disciplines and where they go is invariably interesting and they're people who rise to a challenge. To get onto the programme and to complete the programme is a really strong indication that whatever you want to do, there's a pretty good chance you'll be able to do it. You should come to uh, War Studies if you want to study really interesting and challenging subjects such as war or terrorism and it's really great.